long day at work, you come home and you're in the mood for a scrumptious, delicious picadillo, but you don't have the time to pre-measure your ingredients. Well, I have a hack for you. Um, bell peppers is one of the um, ingredients in my picadillo recipe. Um, and I want to show you, um, bell peppers are commonly found like so in the supermarkets and they're naturally segmented into fours. I've already used a quarter or a segment of my pepper, but I'm going to show you how to quickly pre-measure a quarter of a cup of fine diced bell pepper. And we begin by cutting one of our segments off like so. I like to remove the membrane of the pepper and the seeds, of course, cut the ends and we place it on our cutting board like so, flatten it out, julienne our pepper, being very careful with your fingers because you do need all 10 fingers, then Using the rocking motion, we dice our pepper, like so. And now, for the test. Let's go ahead and test it out. If my theory serves me correctly, four segments, each segment should yield a quarter of a cup fine diced bell pepper. Let's see. I have here my quarter of a cup measure and we are going to take our bell pepper and we're going to place it in our cup like so. Okay. And there you have it. A quarter of a cup fine diced red bell pepper. And now I'm going to test my next theory. Uh, I have a yellow onion peeled and my theory is that half an onion would yield half a cup of diced onion. Let's test it out. See how that plays out. And we're going to very carefully dice our onion like so. Being very careful not to cut our fingers. Like so. Here's our yellow onion, finely diced, and I have here a half a cup measure, and we're going to pop our onion in the cup, like so, okay, and I believe my theory is right, there you have it, half a dice yellow onion. Happy cooking! Bell peppers can be pricey, so I'm going to show you what to do with the remaining bell peppers. I've taken zip bags, like so, I've labeled them, placed my diced bell peppers in the bags, and they're ready to be popped in the freezer for later use. Um, also, you can mix all your peppers, stick them in a bigger size zip bag, like so. When you're ready to use them, you measure what you need, zip them, pop them back in the freezer, and there you have it, ready diced bell peppers. And finally, for the ends of the bell peppers that we cut out, we place them in a zip bag, close it up, pop them in the freezer, and they're ready for your next stir fry or pepper steak. And there you have it.